off-road racing. For the second time this season, Best in the Desert racers would make their way to Parker, Arizona to compete in the two-day long Blue Water Desert Challenge. The race is unlike any other at the Best in the Desert. The two-day race format gives this desert showdown the feeling of being a short course race where racers let it all hang out from green flag to check. 33 UTVs would battle it out, making it the largest class of this year's Blue Water Desert Challenge. We had a little bit of dust from the couple cars that started in front of us, but after that, finish line, pretty short, sweet race, and the car worked fantastic. So, couldn't ask for more. I mean, we started in the back, and uh, I was like, well, you know, see how far we can get in the front, or, you know, work our way up to the front, and, and uh, we started catching a lot of people pretty quick, and I was pretty confident about that. The car was working really great, so I backed off a little bit at the end, just, just so I could uh, have a strong finish for tomorrow. Three laps of some of the gnarliest still feel the uh, ruts and bumps and jumps, so uh, it's an awesome course to be honest with you. Um, and uh, it's a course that our car really did well on today, I thought. Yeah, you just got, you got to keep the car together. I mean, there, there's a lot of fast cars out there. You, you know, you, you got to get through today and not get too far behind and uh, go into tomorrow and kind of see where it plays out. When you have a two-day event like this, you, you have the luxury of uh, making up for the mistakes we made today, so maybe more can get to another more. Being the only race in the series where racers have to compete on back-to-back -back days means teams have to strategize wisely and drivers have to carefully make their way through day one to ensure that they still have the equipment to compete on day two. The race combines your finishing times from both days, thus forcing drivers to pin it to win it. We had a pretty basically flawless race today, which was awesome. Uh, you know what? It was a great day. I mean, you know, we had a, an unfortunate issue with, you know, we broke a shock and broke a radius rod, but, you know, we were running right up there. We were making up time from yesterday. We were having a blast, and, uh, you know, this is going to happen with racing, so it is what it is. Brandon Schuler and the 1919 Jagged X Polaris Razor with the 1919 at the top of the box. It, uh, it was uh, one of the tighter races we've ever done. Ended up uh, actually getting beat by these guys, uh, the Brandon Sims, 1913, on uh, the day two. <laughs> we finished kind of on their bumper, but uh, all in all, we got enough time on them day one to keep Jagged X and Players on top right where we like them. 